And um, a couple of years ago, I was in a, uh, a six month battle with a fierce addiction to crack. <laughs> All right, I still call it crack. You guys might know it better by the street name. Um, Harry Potter books. <laughs> like, I didn't think it could happen to me. But my 12 year old cousin came up to me, got me hooked on the stuff. He's like, Psst. You want to read a book? <laughs> No. It's like, but it's a book about magic. Yeah, that's something that she knew what he was doing. Um, he took that shit home straight away. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I got hooked like that. Like by page two, I'm like, a high school for wizards? Are you shitting me? For the next six months, I disappeared. Like, friends, family, fuck them. I'm hanging with the wizards. <laughs> and I had all the symptoms from crack addict. Like, I was losing weight. I wouldn't eat. I was losing sleep. I was getting all twitchy in between books. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get back to Hogwarts. <laughs> and the books are really expensive, right? So. Like any addict, I was offering blowjobs to strangers. <laughs> for the cash. Use the library. <laughs> <laughs> what if I love giving blowjobs? <laughs> Quietly in the library. <laughs> oh, but I, I knew anything for that magical little bastard. <laughs> and the Weasleys. And that fucking girl whose name I could never pronounce. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't until the movie came out that I realized it was pronounced Hermione. But by then I was already like three books deep. Every time her name popped up, it was in a literary speed bump. <laughs> fucking slow down, go over carefully. Xavier <laughs> Hogwarts and then to Hufflepuff and then. <laughs> For my own? <laughs> right? <laughs> I still read with my finger, by the way. So. <laughs> Hermie One? What kind of fucking name is this? <laughs> so finally, like all speed bumps, I was plow right over it every time I saw that H, that R, and that Jubilee of Vowels. My brain would register, the girl! 